Welcome back to the channel. Now on this one, my mate asked me to give him a hand four days as he had a system conversion with all new radiators. So we had a boiler, cylinder to rip out and a combi boiler to go in its place. Now as we get into it, you'll see we had quite a few problems with the pipe work and the gas one. It was just a bit of a nightmare. There was pipes all over the place. The gas one, we couldn't figure out how to get into the house. So I went into this job blind. I never went to have a look at it. My mate phoned me up and says, can you give me in four days? I said, yep, yeah, no problem. Book me in and I turned up. And we had a few problems. We did have a few problems on this one. Coming up, you'll see us ripping out the old boiler, getting some radiators in place and trying to figure out how to get the pipe work run. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to be doing a full system near enough. It's a conversion and all the radiators getting swapped. So we just had delivery, got all the rods, some in the garage, some of where they want to be. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you a walkthrough and show you what we're gonna be doing. So we've got some of the materials there, got a flue snug. I haven't used them yet. So I'm gonna give them a try. It's got a drainage down there. Got a hallway one that's gonna get replaced. A single one here. The rest has tied up this pipe work as well, because it goes up and over at the moment, it's a bit of a weird one. I'm just going to tidy up that pipe work. Got that radiator to replace it, and all the old round tops here. And that feeds through there into another room. It's a double, it's getting replaced, and that's the old boiler there. So, an old profile that's coming out. So, the boiler's not going there. We're going to move the boiler, and we're going to move that to upstairs. Let's go and have a look upstairs. So, upstairs, we've got this one to replace here. Welcome on mate Ryan today. Got a big butt out the way, yeah. I'll call him my mate. Let's see if he's uh, see if he's my mate by the end of the week. Four days working together. I mean, look at that. Has anyone seen that? Because I've seen one of these for 22 mil feed onto the radiator. I'll get an hospital or something. So we've got that one to replace. So we're going to get the floorboards up here. Tidy up that part work. Got a primatic cylinder. I say, well, this system is primatic cylinder. And we've got one in the bathroom. That's getting replaced. That's going to have nice tail rail in it then the other one in this room can't get past because the ball is in the way yeah we're fitting worcester 4000 and that was getting replaced and that again it's not a commercial setup so the boiler is going to go where the cylinder is we're going to go through the roof then across there and it's going to come out on the flat roof there just above there then the source stacks outside so we're going to go through there with a condensate pump in here for the prv and the condense should be able to pick up the electrics here from the old immersion so today, just going to be ripping out, rip it all out. So we've just got a blank canvas. And when we come in tomorrow, I'll start hanging brads and chucking boilers on walls. So yeah, better get some work done. So the first problem we've got is the gas. The gas is downstairs in the garage. And we need to get 22 mil up, obviously, to the landing. So what I'm hoping is somewhere in here, underneath these floorboards, there's a 22 mil supply. Because right underneath there, just in there, is the boiler. So I'm hoping... They've used a bit of 22 mil. Now, it's only a profile, it's a low kilowatt boiler, so it is only 15 down there, but we're hoping to put it in. Now, if they've been using 22 mil feeds on the rads, then, you know, I might chuck a bit of 22 mil on the gas, but we'll find out. Here we go, the big reveal. <laughs> 15 mil, from that way. What? Where's it going that way? Okay, this is weird, I thought it would be going. <laughs> underneath us okay okay so we've got a massive problem on this job we can't get the gas one anywhere i'll show you why come into the garage so inside here if you look up there it's called stramit boards you can google it we're concerned that contains asbestos and it can we've had a look online the stramit boards can contain asbestos they're not straw and a resin but it does say online it can contain asbestos so if it can contain we're not going to go ahead and drill it. It's not worth it. But on this side of the house, that's the bathroom there, and the other side is the bedroom. So what I was thinking about doing was, <coughs> there's a gas meter. It goes across there, down, and down into the floor, into a concrete floor. Then all there, into a concrete, at an angle, somewhere behind this fridge. So maybe we could go through the wall, into this cupboard, then up. Well, we did think about that, but that's the stairs. So I'm not gonna be able to get through there. And so the bathroom's there, bedroom's there. So 
maybe come through in this corner, then up into that bedroom. It's all laminate. Customers give us permission to cut the laminate. So we'll go upstairs to the bedroom. Go into the bedroom. Here's a laminate. And this is the corner we need to get into. Honestly, I've never known a gas pod be so hard to try and get into a house. One on there. We have got, I've got four days on this with Ryan and then he's got a day on his arm. So on leaving, the last day, we just some piping up, we've got piping up board, so he's in one area. Yeah, he's running around everywhere. So yeah, we've got four days to do this. So the old way has got no drying off in it. So what I'm thinking is, these two pipes here, just gonna cut them there, and two of us, just gonna lift the rad off and take it all out as one. There you go, we've had dried it. It's taking a bit that heavy, it's only a single panel. So yeah, just gonna get two of us just to drag it out. Yeah, just disconnecting there. The idea is now, two of us, are gonna grab the rad and just take it all out in one. It'll save draining down, so it's only took us a couple of minutes. Just to undo them. Oh, it saves messing about. There you go. One. Managed to do it in one. So, just out of done the, we forgot about the clips at the bottom, so when we first tried to pull it, yeah, we're just trying to pull the skating board off. But yeah, managed to get that out in one piece. I better get that off for the tap man. You watch the tap man come around the corner. Take that cop off before he comes. So just getting the cylinder ready to come out. Well, I just got in there with his multi tool and bit jealous actually, because I am deep walk, but I do a lot of look at the Milwaukee. Hey, we sat been good. Sound. I like it. Automatic. Speeds up when you need to cut it through. Nice. So we're just cutting off the 28 mil. That's all drained down, so we can rip that out in a mini. Uh, Sparky's been. He's going to change the immersion for a few spares. Had a look at the board. Said that's okay, and the board is going to be going in there. So a couple more radiators off, cylinder out, and that is near enough ripped out. So as soon as it's out, we just cut off the connections with the multi-tool and uh, turn the nuts and just put some blue roll in it. What we do now is try the drain off there. We don't want to try it with the cylinder forks I've now turn them and they snap. I've had one of them snap before, so but he's still got a little bit of weight in it, so I'm gonna try and get some weight out of it. There he is, cylinders out, going straight down the recycling plant. Because we care about the environment. Yeah, really care. Yeah, straight in the back of the van with that. And we've only got one radiator left to take off. That's all the insulation. I'm gonna get the rubbish guys to come and get that. Radiators are all lined up there, ready to go. The last one I've got to get off now is in the front room, which is this single here, which has got a drain off on, which is good. So yeah, just that one to go, and that's all the radiators. Is. While Ryan hangs the boiler upstairs, we're going to be tasked with taking out this old pot and profile. So we just took the fan off, all that was was the screws around the edge. And you can see there, just took them off and get the flue out there. Looks like some four bolts there, so we can undo them bolts, get the flue out. I've got to get this boxing off as well, it's all the way around. The electrics, the electrician could raise, but new few spare in, so we just cut them off. And the gas, we just undo that at the union. And that is disconnecting now, out of the way. So we just took off them four bolts there. That's the fluid to come off, but obviously there's some box in here. It's just hollow, so it's got the hammer. Took this out, they want to get rid of this anyway, so put a hole in there. And that's where all that part work is. Lovely. Now I'm do it. Just get in there with the mortar tool, cut them off. That's cut this out as well. That's only a framework for this, there's nothing above it. It ain't supporting nothing. There's a brick wall. There. It ain't supporting nothing there, so we're gonna cut that out so we can get to that part work and hopefully then we can lift the board around. There you go. Let's get that out. There's still another one there. Is that loose? No. It's turning to a freaking nightmare. So, <coughs> just two plates down here, one with screw tool, took the screw out. I'm pretty sure it's just a hanging bracket, so you just lift it off. So, there's a space down here. Let's give it a go. I don't think there's going to be much space, we've got most of the water out, everything's disconnected on the top, so. Right, 
we're on day two now. The sun's still out, still scorching hot. So, show you how far we got yesterday. So all the radiators are off now. They're ready to be hung with the new ones. One of the front rooms off. Boiler's out. It's left a nice hole in the ceiling. Like I said, I'm getting rid of all that boxing anyway. And that's it. The one's ready to be hung. I've got upstairs. Ryan is just up there now, doing the bathroom radiator. And start hanging rads today. So we've got that one to hang. Obviously, we're trying to move the customer stuff and our stuff around at the same time. So we've got the bathroom radiator we're going to hang. That radiator we've got to sort out because obviously we've got to find where the feeds are. And we've got the jig inside the airing cupboard. We're ready to go. Right, so we're going to be fitting this radiator. It's a single panel. So what you're supposed to do is put the fat side out. We call them fat side and thin side. And you're supposed to put the fat side out. But that pushes it off the wall. So we've been told to put it inside so it's closer to the wall. But it's hanging up as much convection but the inside it is just so it's close to the wall so what i've done is measured from the bottom of the bracket to the bottom of the rad which was 50 mil then we've gone to the skirting board measured up so we want that about 30 40 mil off the skirting board now did that on so about 70 or 80 we gone yeah that'll be the bottom of our bracket so we've got to now just put a line straight across the bottom of our bracket Underneath, put our radiator where we want it on the wall. I'm just going to mark where the brackets are going. So, on the back of here, you can see where the brackets are. You just put it against the wall, mark on the wall where your brackets are. So, you've got mark there, that's where the bracket's going to go. Just put it radiate against the wall, put your mark, sand the other side, and that'll be where you want the brackets. We've got a line on the bottom here, that's where the bottom of the bracket's going to go. And then we put our two lines here. Um, mark it down where the two lines meet that's where you're going to put your bracket all right you can see there that's where our lines meet so what you want to do is get the bracket and obviously we're getting thin side out so the fat side has to go against the wall and say we're single you normally go thin side to fat but we're going to do it that way put it on the wall and what i normally like to do is see the top one here put one through there and you're going to get no movement up and down then just put one in each of the adjusters. That's it. That's our three holes we're going to drill for the radio. So my mate Ryan is all Milwaukee stuff and to give me this bad boy joy. Look at that. So drill with the Uber attachment onto it. It's pretty heavy to be honest. But as well as we don't want to make a mess. Give it a try. Let me just show you first. Obviously, that's the drill, and that is the hammer rack. So, what you can actually do is on the top of it here, there's a button, and you can set how deep you want to go into the wall. So, we just drilled it. Look at that. Just leave three circles on there, but there's nothing on the floor. No dust, nothing, no mess. So, I just got that side on, and this side just going to screw in. And that top one there is the most important one because it would stop the radiator bracket from sliding down. So, I'm going to get them tightened up. Got them tightened up. Get our big spirit level. Pop them over the top. Make sure he's level. There we go. Spot on. So I'm just going to put some anti-rattles on here. We've already done it over here. These stop the radiator from rattling around, so make sure you put them on. So I'm going to put them on this side. That should be ready to hang. Let's get it on. Uh, one thing I do struggle with sometimes when the radiator is too big. This is a 1400, so I'm just going to stretch my arms quite a lot. Um, 1600, I can barely reach. I have got lifting straps on the van that I use. Should be all right with this. Let's hang it up. go one done you can see putting it thin side out got barely any gap at the back now obviously that's going to affect the convection but it's the look i'm going for the look here the customer's going for the look they don't it hanging off the wall so just thin side so over them just give the customer the choice because you do have to warn them it come off the wall quite a bit but the thin side you can get nice and close to the wall so we've got to put the rad tails in there and we're using this 
that rapid blue stuff now we've been using this since january and it's been really good to be fair now they say put it on the first and the first red but we just want to go to be honest with you so when we put it on start from i'll put it on first they say put it on the first and the third but we just get some and just put it all the way around just like that Get it, screw it into the wrap. You can probably finger tight most of the time. That's it. Not even use spanner, that's it, that'll be rock solid. And you can see it's about to drip on there. Make sure you go dust it in there because that gets on the carpet. It's a nightmare to get out. So yeah, make sure you go good dust sheet underneath. Make sure you put the cap back down because that can block up. That's the all way one done, all hung. So yeah, we're gonna move on to now. This is the worn over here. And it is just rinse and repeat. I'm just gonna hang this rad and we're going go into the lounge. Get that shifted out of the way. We're gonna hang a radiator there. And Ryan's upstairs just uh he's doing the bathroom one. Well we're taking a break from radiators, we're gonna work out the pipe work here. So we've got two twenty eights here. Two twenty eights you used to feed the cylinder on gravity. That there's your hot, that one there's your hot, that one there's your cold, there's your hot and cold there. 222 shoot off that way. I'm not sure what them are doing to be honest with you because well actually I think them are gonna be feeding the bathroom radiator. Because we thought these might have been feeding the bathroom rad, but they've got to be the hot and cold. We've got one pipe there that leads back to the old back boiler ball looks to be there. And it just feeds that way. And you've got one feed here and it branches off underneath there so i'm pretty sure that used to be a one pipe and got two pipes coming off there that goes down to the drop here which i'm going to renew anyway i've got two another drop going in just underneath there then got two 22s here which go underneath here and about where my foot is shoot off over there to feed that radiator and then 22s like looping back there and go all the way around to the boiler there's just pipes everywhere so i think the best thing to do is just put our arm pipe working obviously for the bathroom we can't because we can't get the floor up so i'm guessing them 22s are going to be feeding the bathroom i'm pretty sure they're not going to go that way back to the back boiler what if they do it's going to get bloody wet when we connect onto them but yeah there's some uh some thinking to do here with this pipe works all over the place so speaking of mine we've just decided rip the lot out and start again the only one we've got concerns about is the bathroom radiator we're pretty sure it's going to go link in there but we're just worried whether it links off anywhere else pretty sure it won't um i think that's going to be the heat leak um back in the day the school radiator under gravity to take any excess heat so we're pretty sure that's going to be that but we're going to cut the pipe work and blow down it basically with the valves off and it should build up pressure if it doesn't we know it's going somewhere else so yeah <sighs> just going to repair the start again drop in there for that radiator and this one in the front room we've got the drop coming down there what i've done with that one is put a bend on some elbows just so when they redo the carving you will see that pipe work that's coming down the wall now into that corner just gonna have to tidy up start piping them two radios so i managed to get the dropping down to there and in the corner here all we did was bend the pipe here just to get it tucked into that corner and that one there just comes elbow across and it comes into the trv here teed it in there because obviously it's got to run across here elbow through the wall just down here to the other radiator and we've got the top one there it's hard to see but the top one there that's got to go across there now so this one we've got to think a little bit so what we've done is stuck a bit of pipe through the wall just want to keep it on the same level as that so it looks better the other side what we have to do is solder this sticking out let me just put it in and then it'll come a bit more clear so solder it out of position like that then push it through then push it through the wall see it's white out at the moment then we we'll solder it push it through the wall If there's one I don't want to leak, it's that bottom one there. Put that down, plenty of salt on to. Put that in there. Twist on. There we go. 
That's it in, go solder that up. That's it all soldered in. So I want to keep them two plugs same level there, going through that wall. Yeah. There's the job done on this one. That's all the radiators hung, piped up downstairs. Um, I'll show you what they look like in a minute. Obviously, I've showed you piping all of them or every step. So I don't know how many times I can show you that, but you're getting bored. But here's a run through of what we got done at the end of day two. It's been a busy bee, he's got all the landing up. He's got all the pipe work out and he's got his pipe work where he wants it now in the boy lung. So when he comes back tomorrow, see if he's quite level. Did he get it level? Absolutely. Fair play. So the boiler's in, that's level. We've got all his pipe work there. Electrics in there, the electrician did the other day. So when I come tomorrow, I'm going to be hanging rods. So actually, no, we're going to go in the loft first thing. It's going to be red hot again. So I'm going to go up there when it's nice and cool. On to downstairs. This radiator's been all hung. So what we normally do is just put a little kick on the pipe, bring it out, then into the valve. Got a drain off on there. So it's one piece pipe all the way along there. And we did have to raise that radiator because I forgot we needed to get into that valve. So we incorporated the 15 mil pipe underneath, but we didn't allow for that one to come across. So we've just done that. Put the valve in, and there we go. That is it all up. Them on 90s, hook back. So we get onto them on the landing. This one's all in. That's on a separate drop now. We've had to take a big piece of the carving out just to get it on a bend. So when they put the carving back, you are seeing on a lap. That comes down to there in the corner. We're just doing a kick out to get it against that wall there. All the way across, teed in there. We go underneath, go through the wall there, and through the wall there, both on the same level. And it kicks out underneath there. The reason we didn't like that is you can't see none of the bright work from above here. Well, if you open the door, of course, you know, bright work. Well, yeah. I said he wanted to get downstairs done all ripped out in two days. So we've done that. And we have had a lot of thinking time. Got to think of time when you're trying to figure out where the pipe works going, where you're going to put stuff. Um, because nothing goes to plan when you do a conversion, let alone a conversion with all new radiators, and you start uncovering weird and wonderful pipe work. But yeah, that's day two. There you go, that's the challenge we faced with the pipe work and the gas one. We know where we're going with the gas one, we just got to get it done now. Which, yeah, you'll see on part two was fun to say the least. But conversions can be like that sometimes they can follow up different challenges just stuff don't go right it really don't you do have to sometimes take a step back have a bit of thinking time and just plan what you're going to do so yeah part two is coming up soon thanks again for your support don't forget to hit subscribe hit the bell as well so you'll know when i post a new video see you on the next one have a good one